In this approach, let me take the position of an investor who wants to purchase one unit of this European call option but is not able to do it because no market maker in the market is able to provide this particular call option to my investor. The investor is not able to purchase this call option in a ready-made form. Okay, So my investor decides to actually create this European call option in-house by combining together appropriate quantities of more basic, of more primary instruments or securities. And these primary instruments or primary assets are the underlying asset, I mean the stock on which this option has been written or created, and cash. Okay, so my investor decides to put together these many units of the stock and these many units of cash in the hope that this replicating portfolio will have exactly the same value as the value of this European call when we finally reach this time point, which is three months from today. So essentially, all I'm saying is that if this is a replicating portfolio, if I were to reach the up node, the value of this replicating portfolio should be equal to the value of this call option as of this node, which I know is $2. If I were to reach this node, the value of this replicating portfolio should be equal to the value of this European call as of this node, which I know is $0. Okay, so essentially, there are two governing equations which can help me find out the delta and the B. And these are Number one, the value of my replicating portfolio in the up node, which I know is delta times 44 plus B units of cash as of this node would have become B times e to the power 0 0.04 times 0 0.25. These many units when I reach this time point, right? Cash will grow at the risk-free rate of interest. So my governing equation is that the value of my replicating portfolio in the up node should be equal to 2. This is my first equation. My second equation is that value of my replicating portfolio in the down node, which is, I know, delta times 36 plus b e to the power 0.04 this times 0.25 should be equal to the value of my call option as of this node, which I know is a zero. This is my second equation. If I am guaranteed that both these equations are satisfied, it means that I have indeed created a replicating portfolio. I have indeed created this particular European call option in-house. Okay? two equations in two unknowns. Please solve these two equations and you will find that delta comes out to be 0.25 and B, it comes out to be minus 8.9104. The signs of delta and B tell me that since delta is positive, this particular investor will have to enter into a long position in the underlying stock since B is negative, it means that this investor will have to borrow this much of money for him to be able to create this replicating portfolio. Okay, So, if I am able to create this replicating portfolio, again, no arbitrage tells me that the current price, the current cost, I should say, of setting up this replicating portfolio should exactly equal the fair premium of the European call which I am trying to create. Okay, So if the ready-made, the standard European call available in the market is trading at a different price compared to the cost that it takes to create this European call in-house, then I am inviting arbitrage. Of course, this equality assumes that we are talking about perfect markets, ones, uh, markets in which there are no transaction costs and other frictions, for example. 
okay so this is the equation which will help us arrive at the fair c naught and the fair c naught is equal to delta i know is 0.25 this times s naught i know is 40 plus b i know is 8 minus 8.9104 if i missed it actually i hope you're able to rationalize this that this is indeed the cost that it takes for you to set up your replicating portfolio as of today this is the cost of entering into the long position in delta units of the stock and this is the borrowing that you have entered into okay so again please check this that you get your c naught to be equal to 1.09 it's the same premium which we arrived at using the perfect hedge approach okay